Hey guys, today, um, basically just a mag gameplay, but, um, it's this Raven versus Valor on acquisition on the left side of the map, I think. Now this one I think is probably the more difficult one, if you ask me, because everything's more compact together, and the vehicles are further back, I think. But um, right now, basically all you're doing is just providing cover for your men right now. And um, this is basically the way that I always do it, is I find a point that I can look over to see where everything is at and what's going on. Basically an overwatch. And um, next I just start, like, right here. I'm not sniping, I'm not doing anything. I always choose the assault weapon, it's my favorite so far. Um, couldn't get up on that rock. But um, yeah, just a silencer with a ref with a reflex sight and a grenade launcher. See, right now I'm just kind of picking people off, and I think we have explosives on the barricade or bunker. I forget. But um, right now I'm just kind of holding them off from defusing it. And the noob tubes suck on each team; they have no range whatsoever. But um, another thing, I o I barely ever use a repair kit. I only use medical kit. <laughs> And the reason why is it comes with a lot more XP because there's a lot of people in your squad that always need a medic and they're the one you can count on. But um, yeah, like you only get like one one XP for each two seconds of repairing that you do. When on the other side, healing you get 10 XP unless there's a frag nearby, then you get 20. And whenever you heal somebody, it gives you points like every second basically so overall it's a much better way to rack up the points then again the repair kit helps with whenever you're defending that's the only way that you can use it really but um yeah right now as you can see I just died a little while ago and providing cover for my men far back they can take over the vehicle if they want but right now you're just kind of pushing your way through and the bunkers up ahead are our main objective first. You always take out the first bunkers, or if you really want to, take out the tripway behind it, for so you can call in uh, cluster bombs, whatever. That just makes it a lot easier for with a bigger open window. But you also, if you're squad leader, anything above that, always plant a frag go, one bunker, wait to destroy that, and then head straight over for that, the next bunker, and then just swarm them all at the same time, because the way that they come out of the bunker, there's only one turret. If you if you get up there, they won't be able to shoot you whenever you're up there. So if you eliminate them from up there, they won't be able to get you as easy. And it just makes everything easier if you work as a team or just a squad at least. And basically, just wait. Like if you're really waiting for an enemy, just don't. Don't stand in one spot because it's easy enough to get picked in this game more than Call of Duty if you just stand still. You always want to keep moving. You never want to stand still unless you have to for any reason. But right now I'm just waiting for that bunk to blow up so I can get some room to go around to the other side because the other squad is taking care of that. And I've really never tried out the platoon leader. I've really never got to it yet. But squad leader, right now it's... Basically, everybody has it right now, ever since the game's been out for about a month or so. But, um, it's just easy enough. You plant fragos and points on the map that you want your squad to go to to help out. And I like the idea of the APCs in the beginning, because then you'll have to walk across the whole entire map just to get back to the battle. Um, but really, the truth, they're way too easy to destroy but on the other side the rockets in this game completely suck against anything you would have to have two guys or more both shooting at an APC at once or a rocket launcher doesn't even kill a guy let alone in a grenade launcher from an assault weapon they just suck completely so my recommendations only use rocket launchers whenever you know somebody's there to back you up, or you have something else to use just in case. But right now, we're just basically getting through here. And it's easy enough that we're only a few minutes into the game, and we have done a lot of damage 
already, and that's basically not a good sign for them, because if you're destroying their bunker within the first five minutes, and you breached their gates and destroyed both bunkers, like I said, then you have a pretty good chance of getting in there, because the next thing you only have to worry about is their mortar battery to take down, and their triple A, that'll make everything a lot easier. Once you do that, then you just have to worry about the people themselves. And if you have a good enough squad, and after you have the AAA battery down, you can do basically anything you want to destroy them. And like I was talking about earlier, right here, once you climb up on here, there's no way that turret can get you. But, um, and then, like, like I said earlier, the medical kit, I've just gained probably 100 XP so far healing people. And then right now was probably the most stupid idea, running straight into everything and then getting blown up. <laughs> um, but right now, I like the way of the map. I like how it's in 3D so you can tell where everything's around. And also another cool part of the game is um, how you get dropped in from the airplanes like that. That makes everything a lot easier and... The one thing I hate is you can get shot while um, parachuting down. That makes everything so much annoying. And another thing I thought this game would have is regenerating health. But then I found out once you get the medical kit, I found out, holy crap, what am I going to do? And then again, you get used to it. But the first thing I got was the resurrection and the medical kit. Because that is basically what will help you out most in this game. Because other than healing yourself and healing other players, that will help you level up, get more skill points to buy weapons and attachments, and then you can level up even more with all of those. It will make you twice a better person, and just overall better. But, um, again, I landed on top of that thing. It couldn't kill me. Um, check to see if there's anybody around, and... I plant this explosive, and I think I think it blows up. I'm not sure. We'll see here in a second. But then again, you just well, you just have to protect that explosive at all time. If not, then just get your men over there, have them do whatever they can to protect that this bunker right here. But um, yeah, right there, it just blew it up, and it didn't have a frag on it, so I didn't get frag at points. I was so mad. I wish I was squad leader. But um, if you look at your bottom bottom right hand corner whenever I spawn right here you'll see the whole list of your players and it'll help to show whether they're how far they bled out or who's squad leader and it'll just show what kind of person they are like direct action, sniper, commando etc but um yeah right now this is we basically just completely obliterated their um first security basically all their front protection. Um, their gates down, this bunker's about to go down. If not if it doesn't, I think we just go on without it and completely ignore it. But um and then we eventually the next thing you want to do after blowing up the first defense is just going on and completely obliterating the